Hello guys, welcome to another video. As you can see, I have a little friend with me today. Um, don't freak out. It's a super tiny tarantula and it's super nice. So don't freak out. I'm not freaked out. So, uh, But as you can see, the video is super long, uh, but I can't prepare it. Um, if you don't want to watch the whole video and if you want to look at the specific species, go to the description where I wrote down all the time of uh, times of where that tarantula is shown in the video. And you just press the timing and that will get you right to the tarantula that you want to watch. So since this video is so long already, I'm going to stop talking right now and let's just get into the video. Alright, so the first tea I'm going to show you is my A. Calcotis. I pro probably butchered that name, but I'm going to write it in the description. or not in the description to this video so you can see what the name is and she's obviously hiding of course let me see if I get her out here, baby. she's unsexed we don't know if it's a male or female there she is she's beautiful let's see if we can get a closer shot there she is She loves that water bowl. If it doesn't, fill, if I don't fill it up, she will sit in it and wait for me to fill it up. And as soon as I fill it up, she would drink right away. So if she sits in it, I know she's thirsty. She's normally not a big eater. She usually refuses. And these guys are known to go on uh, hunger strikes, so it's not that surprising if you know tarantulas. But I'm gonna see if I get a can get a blueberry roach. See if she's hungry today. It's been a while since she got one, so. Oh, she's definitely not interested. You want food? Nope. Not today. Anyways, that might that's my A Calicotis. Uh I was gonna say female, but I don't know if it's a female. I hope it's a female. She's beautiful though. Alright, my next tea is... Uh, this one is so hard. Uh, T. albuculosum. I, I can't really say, I can't say that. Anyways, I'm gonna rate it in the video as always. Um, this is my curly hair. That's the common name. She is in her den. She spends most of her time in her den, but sometimes she comes up. Let's see if she wants to come out. Hello, girl. Yeah, unfortunately, she is all the way in her den. Doesn't look so she want to come out. So I'm gonna see if I can get a footage of her later. But she doesn't want to come out now. So yep, that was my. Curly hair, nice footage, right? All right, so the third tarantula is my A. Giniculata, I think it's called. Again, read the name in the video. Um, this is one of my favorites because she, oh well, he, I think it's a male, uh, is very food aggressive, unless he is in the pre mold. And I think he is in a pre mold right now. Because last time I offered food, he didn't eat. So let's give it a shot and see if he's hungry today. Come here, buddy. Yup, he's hungry. Nope, he didn't grab it. Okay. He didn't want to grab it. I thought he was going to grab it. Let's see if we can move him. Yeah. Trying to get the roach out. You can just go in that corner or up there, that would be good. I'm gonna see where the roach went and it went in there. There. Nope. There. There is the roach. You don't want to leave uneaten food in the terrarium, especially not when the terrarium is in, is in pre mold. Because when it's molting, the bugs can start eating on the tarantula 
and then you lose your trench line. So you don't want that. So take out the food if he doesn't eat. On to the next trench. All right. So this is my actually it's actually my first ever trench line, and it's a Rocky Palma Boemi Boemi. I don't know how to say that one either. Obviously, that will be the same thing the whole video. But um, she hasn't been eating for months, and I think she's in pre uh, But her abdomen is starting to look—it's not skinny, but she doesn't look uh, super well fed. So I'm gonna see if she wants to eat today. If she wants to eat today, I doubt she will. But let's give it a shot. Buddy, buddy. Do you want this one? You don't want this one. No. Oh, and she starts kicking here. Nice. She don't want nothing with this roach. Oh, there's a little bolus. And we'll leave her alone. Next crash time. All right, so here is another Brachypelma Bohemi, and uh, this girl, this is a female, she is a hair picker, jeez, she cooks so much hair. Uh, I'm actually gonna try a roach first. Uh, I, I promise she's gonna pick hair. Let's watch this, watch this. Roach, female, and hair pick, look at this. Nope. Nope, he doesn't want it. You don't want this? Oh, she's getting ready to take care. Well, she doesn't want the roach and she hasn't kicked hair. So I was really expecting her to, but this is a big female. Let's see if I can get her a little bit closer to the camera. Is beautiful lady. All right, so on to the next first one. All right, so for you that have been watching my channel for a while, for a while, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I know I'm pretty new, but if you watch from the beginning, you know this is one of my newer tarantulas, and I'm not gonna try to feed her because she has ate as you can see in one of my latest videos oh she is hungry though hmm maybe a small roach maybe a small roach uh, this one's high and neat but it's a little snack if you want to get picked up there it is let's see if she wants this one but Seriously? Hmm. All right, well, she doesn't eat food. She looked hungry though. I was trying to get her out down to the, so you can see her. Come on, buddy. There, you should see her. She's beautiful. And uh, she is supposed to be female, so that is very nice. Next, Tarantula. Alright, so the next tarantula, I'm not even going to try to say the scientific name because it's not going to happen, that's why. Um, she, she, well he, because I'm not almost 100% a male, but he is, to, is, he is very food aggressive, so I know you've seen him before. Um, it's the green bottle blue tarantula. They're so beautiful because they're green, blue, and a little bit red. Come on, buddy, come on. Oh, there it is. Let's see if we can get a that, that closer shot. Oh, maybe it's hunger. Because I threw in a rotor yesterday. I didn't grab it. Uh, where is it? There. Let's see if he wants it. Oh, 
Ja, det är det för den var det. Så man tänker där. And uh, let's move on to the next trash lot. All right, so the next trash lot is an Vicularia species, which is a, a boreal trash lot. But mine seem to live like a trash girl because she is down here. And it's a Avic uh, purpurea, purpurea, I have no idea how you say it. Uh, but you can read it. Let's see if she want to come out. I'm sure you, you have seen her as well because she is feeding. She's like, well, she's not feeding, she likes to feed, so. She's been in a couple of my videos. She doesn't want to come out. <sighs> this is turning out to be a great video, isn't it? <laughs> come on, girl. Okay, I'm not gonna bother her. Uh, anyways, she is a female. And I just acquired a male, and uh, the male is not adult yet, but I'm gonna try to breed them when when uh, he mature. And so let's let's actually just show him after the, after this girl. Okay, so the male is in this Little box right here. He's on here. He ate a few days ago. Well, let's see if he wants to eat. I want him to mature fast, so I'm trying to feed him as much as he wants. Let's see if he wants to eat. Oh. Yep, he definitely wants to feed. Let's try and get it out. Get a good picture of it. Hey buddy. You gotta come here if you wanna. If you want it. Come on. Oh, are you serious? I dropped it. Alright, so this one. You wanna grab this one? He's just gonna have to get the other one that's in there. Let's see if I can do it like this. So that's a male. Very tiny, but I think he will mature in maybe two molts. So hopefully he will grow fast. And since I'm doing Avix, I might as well show the next one, which is a Avicularia Avicularia. He or he had a big meal. I think she can have another one. If she wants one. Or he. Uh, oh, we definitely want one. Or she. Um, let's see if we can get a better closer view at least. Yeah, so let's move on to the next tea. Alright, ooh, that sound. Sorry about that. Um, this is the next tea. It's a Brachypelma hamori. Uh, I am suspecting male. I am also suspecting primal. Uh, so I'm not gonna try to feed him. Ooh. It's a very nice tarantula. Oh, cakes here. I'm not gonna bother him anymore. And I'm actually gonna pause this video before I close this so I don't have to kill your ears. So, next trash lot. Alright, so the next one it's a uh, Gramostola Polycrypes, I think it's called. And this one is also uh, probably a male. And uh, mm, let me see if I can get him out. There we go. I'm sorry to bother you, buddy. 
these grow big as well. But they, ha they have these like golden knees, so they are like super nice. I bet this video is not giving it. it they just stitch just as it needs or deserves. But it's beautiful. It's like golden. Very nice turns. So let's move on to the next one. Alright, so this one is a female and it's a Lesidoria Pariubana and uh, she is in heavy pre-molt. So she's gonna molt any day now. And I love this species because when they molt, they grow so much, they grow so much bigger. So I'm really excited for her to molt and I'm trying to catch her molt so I can film it but I won't make any promises. You see how black that is? When it's that black, it's definitely pre molt So hopefully she's gonna molt in the day now. And uh, I can show how she looks after she molted. Alright, next tarantula. Okay, so here is the next tea. It's uh, a Samani. And uh, it's one of my newer tarantulas. And this is supposed to be female. See if I can get her down. Oh. And uh, she's still trying, kind of acclimating into her new enclosure. She's been digging a bit down back here, a little bit back here. I want her to dig here, so I started a starting burrow for her to dig here. Uh, but she hasn't started started digging a big hole yet, so let's see where she decides to dig. Uh, Yep, so that's all about her, and uh, let's move on to the next tarantula. Alright, so this is the next tarantula. It's one of my newer tarantulas. And the newest big tarantula. It's an M. Balfouri female. And uh, this is the one I'm gonna try to breed once she gets acclimated. Oh, she is angry. I thought I would get a good picture of her. Okay, I don't want to disturb her. I want her to calm down so I can finally put them all in. Alright, so my next tea is my tea vegans or tea vagans. And uh, it's a female. It's one of my newer tarantulas that I just acquired or bought. And she's usually out, but right now she's in her cave. Or Uro. and she's in pre-molt as well so I'm gonna see if I can oh no she's cooking here um, I'm not gonna disturb her uh, she's in pre-molt and um, I wanna I really wanna cut catch her molting but it's obviously not a guarantee but I'm gonna try to get it because that will be really cool to watch but uh, next tarantula Right, so this tea might be my favorite one because it's so pretty. Obviously it's hard to open. There we go. It's an old world species. It's golden and it has those blue legs. Hold on, let me get the lighting on her. Maybe like this. There she is. She is beautiful. And as you can see, I have her in a critter keeper. I don't have any more terrariums. So the, 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 the terrariums you're gonna see now are all in uh, plastic boxes or critter keepers. Um, and we are currently looking for a bigger apartment. And when I get a, when we get a bigger apartment, I'm gonna expand my terrarium wall and get more terrariums or more uh, terrarium for my terrariums for my terrariums. But for now, they're in here. So here is a, a, a Hensi. It's a female. And uh, I know this video is starting to get really long. So I'm just gonna go through my teeth a little bit quicker. So on to the next one. Here is the M. Balfouri male that I will uh, 
try to breed, he has to do a, a sperm web. He's right where I don't want him to be. Let's go down, buddy. Uh, he's going to have to do a sperm web, and once he's done that, I'm going to put him in with the female. And hopefully they will breed. And he's swabbing a little bit, but there's no sperm. Okay, uh, next tarantula, it's uh, a... Uh, Semani. It's it's an unsexed one, so I don't know if it's male or female. Let's see if we can get her up. Hey, buddy. There she is. Or he. <laughs> Beautiful tea. Uh, and that's what that's the only thing that's good with these enclosures, because uh, they're nice to uh, dig down and uh, keep the moisture down here. So, for especially for the next tea that I'm gonna pull up. Uh, it's a P. mythicus and uh, they have to have a, a moist substrate and uh, it's easier to keep it in these compared to its worms. Uh, these boxes are also good uh, when you're breathing, uh, I heard, because it's uh, easier to get to the tarantulas from up here if the, the, tarantula try to, the female tries to attack the male. It's easier to stop from on top. Uh, rather than the, from uh, the side in the terrarium. Uh, anyways, this species is so cool because it, it can actually hiss. So I'm gonna see if I can get her to hiss. So listen carefully. You hear it? It's basically saying, get the F out of my den. And that's what I'm gonna do because we need to get going. But awesome tea, I love that it can hiss. I mean, that's that's just dope. So let's move on. All right, so here are my sling containers. Where's this guy? This is a C. Marichelli and a C. Berlingi. I just hope they don't bolt out. They're kind of newly rehoused. And uh, I don't want them to bolt out. But these two, uh, one went down here, and the other one is just sitting right there, as you can see. So, moving on. I'm just gonna put these guys over there. And this is the Chilean Flame E something something species red. Uh, <laughs> and this guy is super docile and nice. Let's see if he wants to walk right into my hand. Nope. Everybody. Uh, anyways, super nice. And they they grow super slow. This guy is like maybe two three years old. And uh, they they're all, they will become all black, and they will have a little patch right there that is all orange. Uh, super cool. Uh, next one is an OBT P uh, Marinas or something like that. And. We don't want this guy to bolt out. Uh, of course, he went into hiding. Uh, but you saw me a little bit here before the lid, uh, uh, through the lid. And I actually have two more OBTs. This is the, uh, oh, I don't know the name of it, but I have uh, two other ones. Let me see where I have those. This is the RCF and the TCF. This is the red color form, so it becomes more, uh, more orange. And this guy becomes a uh, little bit grayish. And yeah, they're both in here somewhere. They're tiny, well they're not tiny, they're a little bit smaller. Uh, so they're a little bit more skittish. Well obviously the other guy was skittish as well, but these guys I don't see that's that often. I just see that the food disappear. Yeah, so they are alive. Uh, I'm gonna put those over there as well. And moving on to my and NC Gold. Here is one. It's gonna go right into his burr. So look while you can. Oh, maybe not. Oh, perfect. Here's one, and the other one is here. I think he has molted. It's right there. You see it? Down there. These are beautiful. These are a dwarf species, so they don't grow that much bigger. Well, they get bigger, but not that much. Uh, 
I gotta hurry, this video is so long. Um, go to there. I have another A. Calicotes. This is a sling, super small. And a slings that always burrow. So it's in, oh, it's right there. So you can't really see it. They're more fun when they grow big, but they grow super slow. And then I have a, oh, what is her name? A P. Sesame, I think. These are also dope. Let's put her hand down. Get this one bolt out. There it is. I'm gonna put uh, a new hide in here because he doesn't really have a ha have a hide. Uh, I'm just need to find a good cork bark. I need to find a good cork bark piece. That's what I meant to say. Um, let's see what else we have. I have my Grandma Stola Eringi, which also is a new Tarantula species that I got in my last unboxing video. It's these three guys. This was the smallest one. It literally just molted the day after I released the video. It's a little bit bigger. I'm not gonna take this out. Out. Uh, if you want to see more of those, check out the unboxing video. These are two Grandma Stola Rosea. These also grow super slow. So they're tiny, but this is actually a pretty good size. So I'm very happy with these guys. And we're gonna move on to some more tarantulas. All right, in here, you're not gonna see it. It's a P. Uratus or Rathus or something like that. It's, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's been bird for a while and it's maybe, uh, this big, maybe, and uh, when they're that small and it's buried that long, I am definitely suspecting a molt, so it's gonna come out looking way bigger. But I haven't seen it in weeks, maybe months. Uh, moving on to the next one that I keep in these terrariums is the Gramostola uh, pulcra. You can actually see it. Let me get a better. Is it, yeah, it's there. <laughs> and that's the, uh, about the size that the P. aratus aratus is. Uh, yep, so there is that one. Sorry if these triumphs makes uh, annoying noises. And I have another one that you're not gonna see. This is the ooh, E. Morinus, I think. The skeleton leg. It's a fessorial, so it's way down here. And I've been trying to get a good feeding uh, video on th this one because it's so nice. But it's so skittish, so it never comes out. So I'm not really getting a good footage of her, so I'm really excited when that happens. And I will post it right away. Uh, let's move on to some more slings. Alright, so these are some uh, terrestrial, terrestrial, I can't say it. Anyways. Uh, tarantulas. This is a Avicularia urentis. It's very tiny. Using my last uh, feeding video. I was hungry, little tea. And then I have a uh, D. Diamantinentis or something like that. I can't say it. But these these grow out to be beautiful. I mean, they, they remind you a little bit of the GBV, the green bottle blue. Uh, uh, but they are dwarf species. But some people say that these ones are more nice because their colors are way brighter. So I'm excited to see when it grows up. This is a Shilabrachis. Uh, uh, I'm gonna write it. <laughs> the blue color form. Uh, it's a fossorial. It dug all the way down. It's down here somewhere. I guess I won't see it for for a long while, but. Yeah, let's move on to the next one. Here is another uh, arboreal. It's a, uh, uh, what do you call it? It's a Rodunkus, the P. Rodunkus. And it's down there, you see it. Also very tiny. Uh, uh, what else do we got? We got this little dude. This is my one of my newest translates. Columbia Species Large. It literally molted maybe last night, very recently molt, 
And I love these guys because they have the adult colors when they're sling. This is also a dwarf species. Very cool tarantula. And then uh, moving on to the sea versicolor. Is it sea versicolor? Anyways, versicolor. These guys are amazing because they're like blue, like bright blue when they're slings. And then they grow up and like change completely. So they're really cool to follow from a sling. This one I just rehoused, so it's just in its court bar. And uh, that was all. No, it's not all the things. I actually have. For the last tarantula unboxing, I have all of these guys. These are the uh, Ami species Panama, C. elegans, and N. chromatus. I can't say those names. Uh, and the chromatus are getting ready to molt. They're dug down there, and their abdomen looks very thick. And I just fed these guys. What I do is that I pre-kill, uh, cri uh, not crickets, uh, pre-kill uh, dewberry roaches. I drop them in here and let them scavenge on those. And then I pull it out a couple of days later. Here's one, you see it in the corner right there. So they're really, really tiny. So that's why you can't really, f I don't really have any else to f uh, for them to feed on. So they scavenge feed. And then I have some other news. I, I literally just today bought some, uh, more tarantulas, and the reason why is because the guy was selling uh, Avic Puperia, the one that I'm trying to breed. So he had two of them, so I got one of them, and one looks even more mature than the male I have. So I'm really, oh, I don't know if it's male because he said he, said he didn't sex them, but I think this is a male. I'm gonna do a rehouse with this guy very soon, and it's gonna be easier for me to see. Uh, well, I can't see if it's a male, but if it's a mature male, I will see it, but I'm looking forward for this guy to molt because then I can show, uh, sh see for sure if it's a male. And I also got uh, another purple. It's a little bit smaller. It is, oh, it's up here. You see it? So it's way smaller. Uh, hopefully this could be a male too, because by the time he molts out, the female might be ready to breed again. And then I got, I would like to call these the jewels because these are amazingly yeah, beautiful. Uh, good thing the name is there because then I don't have to say it. Awesome. Uh, is right there, back here. Anyways, I'm gonna rehouse these soon. Uh, even though I like these uh, containers, I like to keep all my spiders in the same ones. So I'm gonna put these in these. And I got two of these. I actually had these uh, before, but I didn't keep it right. I was thinking, thinking that the, they wanted to have a, the subtree really wet and moist, but that wasn't the case, so I basically killed mine, but now I know how to do, take care of them. So, uh, yeah, that's those. And then actually the last one I got was another uh, C versa color. And as you can see how light it is right there, it's basically that it, it's molted. And he molted literally on the way here, so I'm gonna put this guy in a, a dark room and leave him be so he can molt. And that is uh, all my tarantulas. All right guys, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Uh, even though I really don't think there is anyone watching at the end right now because the video was so long. But if you're here, um, not, the, not my armpit. Uh, but if you're here and if you like the video, please comment something, comment what, uh, what was your favorite species of the video and uh, I will see you in the next video